Jose Francesca. Thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel and clicking on this video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Francesca. I'm a spiritual advisor and I'm also a clairsentient tarot reader, level two Reiki healer. If you want any of my services, go ahead and check the link down in below and I would love to get it started with you. I do all sorts of readings from health to love, career, spiritual life path, and more. And I also have awesome Reiki healings, blockage removals, guided meditations, and sound healings. So let's go ahead and get it started. Today is pick a card reading. This has to do with your life path. The message is to trust. So there's a lot of protection that you have at this time. Group number one. So with group number one, I am feeling that you guys are like natural leaders. You guys are individuals that are very routine based and you like things to be in order. You are almost like futuristic where you have strong vision and you're also able to like kind of like predict things before they happen. I am seeing that with your situation and your life path moving forward. Um, it does seem as though a relationship, personal issue, work partnership, and health issue is going to be resolved. I am seeing that there is a climax when it comes to changing your relationship or starting a new relationship. And I am seeing that right now, there may be a relationship that's ending. However, it's going to be important for you to find the balance with your ego and someone else's needs in order to have a win-win outcome and a positive outcome. Your message for today is to uh, let go of which is falling away from your life. Do not hold on to anything. Do not hold on to habits, people, places, or things that no longer belong in your life. With group number one, I do see that you guys have been going through a lot of karma since October of 2022. It almost led for you guys to feel anchored down almost like you guys are in prison it seems as though some of you guys could have been going to prison or could have almost gone to prison but now i do see that the scales are being balanced out where not only are you learning your lesson and are you gaining a sense of justice in your life but now the the law of cause and effect is coming into balance and now you're going to be reaping um a compromise and the rewards of of the cause and effect of your situation. I do see that you guys have been dealt with really tough karma. You almost feel like you could have been punished for some reason with all these limitations in your life, in relationship, with work, in health. For some of you guys, you guys could have been dealt with um, with a karmic partner. You could have been dealt with karmic life circumstances, uh, weak finances as well. Your finances could have been depleting by October season in 2022, which led for you to feel anchored. There were so many limitations in your life. And now you're being asked to kind of see things differently because as you see things differently, the things that you're looking at change. And it is time for you to focus on yourself for a while. Let go of trying to people please others or problem solve other people's things or you know make things stay the same nothing's gonna stay the same everything's gonna change and that's how you know you're alive because life is a continuum of change and it's gonna be a great time to look after yourself but you're gonna want to avoid vanity and it's also gonna be a great time right now to also have a makeover but overall i do see that when it comes down to specific like partnerships friends or a relationship it does seem as though now you're going to be able to enter a state of settlement and a compromise. You're going to be able to um, create progress and a victorious outcome with these individuals. You're going to be able to find solutions and healings. And when it comes to health, you will be able to heal any health issue, specifically in the kidneys, in the liver, or in the bloodstream. I'm also seeing if you were waiting on some sort of like loan or money to come in you're finally going to get some sort of settlement or compromise with a business that you're going to be able to um, um, make uh, lucrative in the future so your finances are going to pick up very very fast especially between now and next month 
So basically, you are being guided to really um, use your negotiation skills really wise because again, you're a leader, you're able to overcome challenges, you don't give up, and Spirit is wanting to remind you that it is time to, to continue to fight for your justice, but you don't have to fight in the same way. You don't have to battle with other people. You don't have to battle with yourself. You have to let go of things that are falling away, but to continue to take action towards um, the victory, towards the objective and the, and the milestone and the goal that you want to achieve. I do see that um, you guys are going to be gaining a lot of uh, resolution towards your guys' situation. Some of you guys, if you guys were supposed to go to jail um, or what have you, you're going to come out innocent. For others of you, if your health issue was really bad, I do see you guys having a remission. I do see things being cleared out. And then for others of you, if you are dealing with relationship issues, I'm seeing that there's going to be a new level of commitment, either with someone new or someone old, that's going to be coming in. And finally, you're going to have a win-win outcome. Hey there, star friends. If you picked pile number two, this is your reading. Let's go ahead and get it started. So your message for today is don't stop. So your life path message for moving forward for the rest of 2023 is do not stop. Whatever challenges you may be facing, you are protected. You want to be resilient in any circumstances that you're in. And you want to pick yourself up and continue to move forward despite the challenges that you are facing. For group number two, I do see that right now you have to be selfish. You really have to put yourself first. I do see that you guys have a tendency to uh, be victims of your inner child wounds. For a lot of you guys, it's uh, people pleasing. For a lot of you guys, it is feelings of unworthiness. And it has led for you guys to potentially become depressed or going in loops and circles of drama, internal chaos that led for you to believe your limited beliefs that stopped you from taking the action that needed to be taken in order to ascend. Right now, you guys are being forced, radically forced into spiritual ascension. And you guys kind of already knew this was going to come because at one point, um, at one point last month, you guys could have began to like accept certain things. You guys were also potentially uh, letting go of the ego and be more practical about your guys' situation, whether it's love, whether it's your circumstances or your, your career. Um, Spirit is now asking for you to handle the situation um, with less sensitivity, like you want to just be very firm with boundaries moving forward, not only with other people, but with yourself. Um, Spirit is also wanting to ask you, where were you a little bit too harsh with others? Where did you overstep the mark? And also, it seems as though you kind of, there's some sort of self-fulfilling prophecy here where you did create the issues that have been manifested into your life. And it does seem as though your spirit chose to self-sabotage in order to recognize its own strength. And I know that sounds like a paradox, but that's how the spiritual human being experience work. So spirit is saying that if you got yourself into the situation, if you created this situation, you could easily create a way out. And the way out is through. And this is you going through the spiritual ascension, activating your confidence. I'm seeing group number two, you guys are very intuitive, uh, very futuristic as well, very determined, focused individuals. Sometimes you shy away from your power because when you were younger, possibly you were just too sensitive and you guys are very idealistic, but you guys love the idea of like true love and like you know, the fantasy, but you guys have a very, very strong, potent energy that can get you through anything. And Spirit is trying to push you to finally achieve what you've been wanting to achieve, which is self-fulfillment, empowerment, but also 
happiness and joy and you're about to enter a phase in your life where you're gonna feel like this can't be my reality because i'm so happy like you're gonna see all your wishes are gonna begin to come true so spirit is saying is that um you want to begin to navigate yourself very politely okay even if you have to set firm boundaries with people you want to kill people with kindness you want to be assertive um, you want to also mediate tense situations with peace, right? And I feel like you guys may not know how to do that. But if you need guidance, you could always go to ConsciousWithTarot.com and I can guide you with your specific situation. I am seeing that with you guys specifically. Um, Spirit is targeting your guys' um, inner child, your guys' self-confidence, your guys' self-belief. And it's bringing up a lot of emotions right now. It's very, very intense to the point where, um, I mean, you guys could have had multiple breakdowns, but now it's like you guys will have a breakthrough. So Spirit is saying that it's going to be time to really utilize this fiery energy, especially going into eclipse season on the 19th with this new moon in Taurus. To take radical action towards your goals. Healing the inner child. If you don't know how to heal, heal the inner child, you could always contact me. Um, you also want to suspend yourself from inner criticism, drama from others. That's low vibrational. If you stay in with negative people or giving them too much attention, you're going to become them. So setting uh, firm boundaries with them is going to be necessary choosing your own happiness filling up your own cup doing what's going to fulfill you is what's going to take you to this next level and what i see happening for you guys wow you have no idea you guys are really going to reach a point where not only can you guys um reach new heights in your career but in every aspect of your life and honestly i can't wait to see results if this message resonated with you go ahead and drop a comment below like the video if you liked um, the reading. Don't forget to subscribe, my star friends. Like I said, if you want a personal reading and just some guidance in general, go to ConsciousVoltero.com and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye now.